Hello, I'm Nikki Balfour Penny and I'm manager of the Shell Heritage Art Collection. The Shell Heritage Art Collection is a fantastic collection of British commercial art and includes Shell's historical advertising from the 20th century. The collection has been hosted at the National Motor Museum Trust for almost 30 years and I'm pleased to be presenting a selection of its most prominent posters for a charity auction at Lyon and Turnbull to benefit the Trust. The posters offered for sale are from Shell's popular advertising in the 1930s and 50s. They were displayed on the side of lorries delivering cans of petrol to customers all over the country and were known as lorry bills. The posters not only promote Shell's products, but also the joys of motoring, the British countryside and the many people who use Shell. In 1929, Jack Beddington became the advertising manager for Shell, helping to transform the company into a household name and making it a patron of the arts. Beddington lacked previous experience of advertising, but with an eye for talent, he became one of the most revolutionary figures in British historical advertising. Under Beddington's direction, a list of prominent British artists and designers were commissioned such as Paul Nash, Ben Nicholson, Edward McKnight Cowfer and Duncan Grant. Beddington also sourced a host of new young talents, helping to launch the careers of names such as Graham Sutherland, Leonard Rosman and Richard Guyot. Artists were given the freedom to explore different styles and influences in their work. Our most popular work in the collection is this poster by Paul Nash. Paul Nash was one of the most important landscape artists in the first half of the 20th century. Nash produced three lorry bills for Shell, all of which echo his change in style from abstraction to surrealism. This poster is a great example of his surrealist work. Beddington became great friends with many of the artists he worked with, in particular the great poster king Edward McKnight Cowfer. Kaufer designed more shell posters than any other artist. In 1935, Paul Nash stated that Kaufer was responsible above anyone else for the change in attitude towards commercial art in this country. There are several excellent examples of his work in this sale, but my favourite has to be actors, where the lettering and layout are an integral part of the cubist influence design with simplified abstract forms to show the actor's many faces. Another great graphic designer included in the sale is Hans Schlager, who signed his work as Zero. This striking surrealist image of journalists, he said was much better after the lithographers had enhanced the colours and touched up the work. The lorry bills became like a people's touring picture gallery. The public would often look out for the next design, and they were exhibited as fine works of art in their own right, a position they still hold to this day.